Hello class! Welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Alan Shane at your service. Thank you so much class for choosing Alan Shane's tutorial for you to be able to know more about accounting. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. So class, in today's discussion, we will talk about the depreciation of the property and equipment. So, when an entity acquires long-lived assets such as the building, service vehicles, computers, or office furniture, so it is basically buying or preparing for the usefulness of, the, of that asset. So, these assets will help us generate income for the entity. Therefore, a portion of the cost of the assets should be reported as expense in each accounting period. So, when we say depreciation or depreciation expense, it is what? The estimated amount allocated to any accounting period. Ulit ha, when we say depreciation or depreciation expense, it is an estimated amount allocated to any accounting period. So, we have uh, three factors involved in computing the depreciation expense. What are those three factors? First is asset cost is the amount an entity paid to acquire the depreciable asset. So, first factor is the cost and the cost is the amount an entity paid to acquire the depreciable asset ito yung amount na ibinayad natin para mabili ang asset na depreciable like service vehicles buildings computers or office furniture next factor is the estimated salvage value when we say salvage value, it is the amount that the asset can probably be sold for at the end of the estimated useful life. So, if ever that the asset will end its useful life, so there is a salvage value because this is the value or the amount that the asset can be probably sold at the end of the estimated useful life. Third is the estimated useful life. When we say estimated useful life, it is the estimated number of periods that an entity can make use of the asset. Ito yung useful life or number of years kung ilan na pwede gamitin ng entity o ilang years pwede gamitin ng entity ang isang asset na depreciable. Useful life is an estimate, so it should be an estimate and not an exact measurement. Okay, so let's proceed. We have here cost of depreciable asset. Then, we have this balance sheet to assets. What are the assets that is considered or that are considered depreciable? We have service vehicle and office equipment. So, examples lang ito ha. We have service vehicle and office equipment. Then, the service vehicle and office equipment, the, it, these are the assets that has useful life and will expire. After the expiration of the useful life, so there is an income statement na involved so that under the expenses which is the depreciation okay ulit we have cost of depreciable asset after that so we have the balance sheet then under sa assets makikita natin yung depreciable asset such as service vehicle and office equipment then the ang estimated useful life nito will expire as the as the assets useful life expires so makikita natin siya sa income statement the expenses which is depreciation expense so accountants estimate periodic depreciation so they have a develop a number of methods for estimating depreciation so maraming methods on how are we going to estimate the depreciation the simplest procedure is called the 
straight line. So, ang pinaka-simple na method in estimating depreciation is the straight line method. So, the simplest procedure or method for estimating depreciation. The formula for determining the amount of depreciation expense for each period using this method is here. So, we have the asset cost. So, the asset cost, lagay natin dito, we have to less the estimated salvage value. So, the answer is the depreciable cost. Then, after finding the depreciable cost, we have to divide it to the estimated useful life of that certain asset. And after the after natin ma-divide, so we have a depreciation expense for each time period. So, ito yung ano ha, the, the, the formula in finding the depreciation expense using the straight line method. So, next, let's proceed. So, the asset account is not directly reduced when recording depreciation expense. So, the reduction is recorded in a contra account called what? The accumulated depreciation. When we say contra account, it is used to record reductions. So, mga reductions in a related account and its normal balance is opposite that of the related account. So, we have an illustration here. It is a continuation of the uh, our journal entries na na-discuss na natin sa ating previous video so about service vehicle and office equipment so these are adjustments letter D and letter E so what happened uh, suppose that the gala wedding estimated that the service vehicle which was bought on May 4 will last for 7 years or 84 months with a salvage value of 84,000. So, si service vehicle daw, binili, nabili siya noong May 4. And the useful life is 7 years. And with a salvage value of 84,000 pesos. Now, so the office... And uh, now, we have to substitute the pertinent amounts into the basic formula that will yield depreciation for service vehicle. So, what will happen? In the service vehicle, noong May 4, na nabili natin ang service vehicle, is meron siyang 420,000 na cost. So, ulitin natin how. So, we have transactions here. Unahin natin pag solve si service vehicle. So, the transaction is recording depreciation expense. So, depreciation expense. Then, so, the asset here decreases. Why? Because nag- expire man siya and the owner's equity decrease also then the rules when the asset decrease diba it should be recorded by credits and decreases in owner's equity are recorded by debits so we have to solve the depreciation expense so in our previous video on May 4 the service vehicle cost is, or the asset cost, specifically the service vehicle, or the service vehicle, no, sorry, ulit, the asset or the service vehicle cost, is merong 420,000. Next is the estimated useful life. Ay, the estimated salvage value. So, the estimated 
salvage value is how much? So, we have here estimated salvage value of 84,000. So, 84,000. We have 420. So, 420,000 less 84,000. So, merong 336,000 na depreciable cost. Next, how much is the useful life? So, or how many is the useful life? So, 7 years. So, we have to divide it with the estimated useful life. Divided by estimated useful life for 7 years or 84 months. So, 7 years, diba? 7 years is equivalent to 84 months. So, i-divide natin siya in 84 months. Because, kukunin natin siya at the end of the period of May 31. So, per month natin i-divide. Kasi, depreciation expense month at the end of the first month. So, the monthly depreciation expense is 4,000. So, depreciation expense at the end of May 31 is 4,000 pesos. Pero, if per year, so, i-divide lang natin to 7 years or 4,000 times 12 months for one year, okay? So, we have to journalize the transaction. So, journal entry for or journal entry adjustments adjustments for the service vehicle is what? Journal entry adjustments for service vehicle. Debit depreciation expense. Depreciation expense. Service vehicle. So, 4,000. And accumulated depreciation. Depreciation service vehicle 4,000. Then next, we have another illustration here. Office equipment na naman. The office, the office equipment that was acquired on May 5 will have a useful life of 5 years and will be worthless at that time. So in this transaction, there is no use uh, salvage value because at the end thou of 5 years or 60 months, the office equipment will be worthless at that time. So, now, let's... We have transaction also, recording depreciation expense, and same that the asset increase and the owner's equity... and the asset decrease and the owner's equity decrease. So, now, let's compute for that depreciation expense. So, depreciation expense on May 31, ito on May, May 31 ito, on May 31. Okay, depreciation expense on May 31 for the office equipment. Office equipment. Okay. On May, ang worth ng Office equipment in our previous video is Office equipment cost is 60,000 So, continuation ito ha ng ating previous videos Then, less the estimated salvage value Pero, in the problem, there is no salvage value Because worthless na 
ang office equipment at the end of the useful life. So, 60,000 pa rin siya. Ang kanyang depreciable cost. Next, we have to divide it by the estimated useful life. 60 months. Kasi, 1 month ang ating kukunin. So, 60,000 divide 60. So, there is 1,000 depreciation expense at the end of May 31 for the office equipment. So, now let's journalize the adjustments or adjusting entry. Adjusting entry office equipment okay depreciation expense office equipment worth 1000 and accumulated depreciation office equipment 1,000. Okay? So, here, adjusting entry, debit, depreciation, expense, office equipment, 1,000, and credit. Accumulated depreciation, office equipment, 1,000. So, that's it for our discussion about the depreciation of property and equipment or the depreciation or depreciation expense as well as the adjusting entries. So, these transactions given, uh, it is a continuation of the previous videos sa ating journal entries. So, thank you so much class for listening and hope you learned something. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. God bless.